Hey people, it's me again. So, anyways, um, one of the things I forgot to mention about what happened earlier in the last week with like the internet being down, as far as that goes, as it turns out, you know, uh, the neighbors uh, on uh, on this side, they couldn't have access to the internet and TV there because of like the cable being being uh, jostled around like that just as much as what happened with us, you know. And I completely forgot about that sort of thing because they had switched from uh, AT&T and DirecTV back to Cox as far as that goes. Yeah. <laughs> so, it was just like about a couple of years ago was when they installed like a satellite dish next to their chimney. And I could see, like, the satellite dish from my window because their house is a, it's a single-story house. So it's not like I couldn't really see anything there. You know, but if it was, you know, like a two-story house on next to me there, you know, then I probably wouldn't really see a whole lot of, as far as when it comes to the other street across from us and all of that. Yeah. <laughs> Plus if they if they had like a second story like that, whatever bedroom on that side, you know, of the house or 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 a master bedroom there would be kind of be looking down on me and uh and one of my brothers uh there because our bedrooms are kind of next to each other as far as that goes so anyways that's just one of the things that I have to mention about that sort of stuff here so in a way I pretty much had figured out that that other little uh what they call those little thingies is those green uh, terminal blocks or whatever they're called on the street, you know. There's another one that's like next to the neighbor's house. And I realized like, oh, that goes to like another house that sits on the corner of the street. You know. As far as that goes. And uh, so, and one of the things that really made sense about why they share, I mean, neighbors share the, the line there is because, you know, the conduit, the electrical conduit is, like, shared, and it's also because they have, like, the distribution box on the, on that side, and and on our side, it's like that. So it's kind of like facing each, the two sides, facing each other like that. And I think it's like that way throughout the neighborhood, you know, on our street, where it could be like two of the neighbors would share a conduit and, and or share like the, the drop cable or whatever they call it, you know. As far as that goes, you know, and then have it like the the distribution uh, boards or the electrical boards, like you know, on facing each other like that. And even though like the entryways on all of the streets face the same direction, so it would be like one one house would have the distribution boards on the entry side, and the other one would have on the opposite end or something like that. You know what I mean? So, that was like the case there. And mainly it's just a matter of, you know, 
what they call it. Courtesy, I, I suppose, because it's usually when we have like those type of distribution boards like that, they're supposed to be kind of, and like the demarcation points, they're supposed to be kind of out of sight. You know, because nobody really wants to see it like right on the front of the, the house as far as that goes. And it's one of those little things there, you know, when if you like live in an apartment complex and then wonder why there's like these uh, double doors that are locked and some places that's just what the distribution boards are there too. You know? But in, in some ways it could be kind of like, you know, like being like underground or above ground there, you know, depending on where you're at. But where I live, it's the the power lines, the phone lines, and the cable lines are all underground, you know, <laughs> you know, because then I remember a story about a couple of years ago where I think we were having uh, really high winds in that I think it had knocked down one of the power the power line poles in one area and it, it caused like a neighborhood to not to have uh, no power or let alone like access to their phone or TV and internet as far as that goes but that's kind of like how it is there but it depends on like who's like the provider as far as like TV and internet and phone, you know. And in some places that's what I said before that you can do triple play and all that. But sometimes, you know, it might be like better to have it like a double play or or single play or something like that. You know, depending on how it is, you know. You know, when it comes to that, you know, because I think in the past, you know, before uh, Cox had like digital telephone, they just had TV and internet, so it was just mainly like a double play thing. And I think that was probably about like about fifteen years ago, or was it like? Maybe 20 years ago was when they started to offer um, the digital telephone as far as that goes. You know. And it was just mainly like for a low rate of like 1999 or something like that. Then you got unlimited calls instead of how it was with like the old phone companies like how you were like charged. You know, like, like five cents a minute, or or something like that, and you know, then opposed to something else. And then, like, the interesting thing now is when it comes to like, um, what you call it, the. The mobile networks now is like the they're doing like more unlimited plans or something like that, you know. As far as that goes, or at least just charge like you know a certain price for a certain amount of gigs on there because it was something like um, for T-Mobile it was something like unlimited, but. But, uh, but if you go over, like, the 50 gigs, then, then you, then you're kind of, you know, slowed down at some point there. 
Because then I remember about, I think it was 10 years ago when I had like the unlimited 3G and it was like 2 gigs a month as far as that goes. And then um, I remember at one point because I was watching TV downstairs and since um, I couldn't really go on the internet um, that well, like, downstairs because of, like, the Wi-Fi and all that. And so I would mainly use the T-Mobile's internet there. And there were a couple of times where I think I went over the limit and then, um, and then I had to, uh, be slowed down to like the old uh, 2G speeds as far as that goes. You know? So that was one of the things there. So. But prior to T Mobile. Um, I was on a voice stream back then, and it was like, voice stream was more of a regional carrier, because it wasn't really available in uh, California, but it was available in Texas there, and it was like, powered by T-Mobile, and it was just maybe about like, a year... After I think I'd gotten the phone was when it, when Voice Dream became part of T-Mobile, as far as that goes, and it was throughout, like, the early part of the aughts was when T-Mobile was starting to kind of uh, move into California, move into other states that that would not normally be served and became more of a national carrier as far as that goes so anyways as I was kind of saying about that sort of stuff there and I think it was the the plan that we had was something like was this family plan for maybe like like forty nine ninety nine, something like that, and I think it was like two hundred whenever minutes, and then unlimited weekend minutes. And I think it was every, but he had like there, had like uh, two hundred whenever minutes. So that was the thing there, and if I recall correctly, it was just. Initially, it was like my mom and me and one of my brothers, and then my and then one of my brothers had gotten like another phone and had gotten his own plan, and then that other phone ended up becoming my dad's phone, and then my phone had like a four six nine area code because that was the area code for Dallas, and then it was changed to. You know, a nine for nine area code, which is for here, and I had that nine for nine area code for my phone ever since. You know, so that was like one of the things there. And then, um, as far as that goes, I think, I guess it's part of it, you know, I don't think I really want to talk too much there. So anyways, talk to you guys later.